यस ओके बताइए ओके सो थैंक्स टू इनर कोर्टियार्ड फॉर गिविंग मी एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू टॉक ऑन दिस नाइस टॉपिक ऑन द जेम्स हिडन जेम्स सो वी हैव गॉट थ्री स्पेसिफिक एजेंडास टुडे टू डिस्कस सो वी विल बी लुकिंग एट व्हाट इज कॉल्ड एज द सुभाष इतानी एज संदिनी मैडम एज जस्ट सेड देन वी हैव द सेकंड सो आई हैव स्प्लिट दिस टुडेस प्रेजेंटेशन इनटू थ्री स्पेसिफिक टॉपिक्स सो द फर्स्ट इज सुभाष इतानी then we will have yangya kavyam and then we will also talk something about chitra kavyam as we all have to know sanskrit as nandini has rightly said sanskrit has got a multi dimensional approach and a strategy so let us first discuss a few subhashitani then a few yangya kavyam and then finally we come to chitra kavyam so yes. when we talk about uh, the subhashitani so i have taken some as uh, nandini has rightly pointed out it has got well said things which is applicable to common man and it is applicable to me and this one and as we by heart this at the right opportunity from our subconscious mind this sort of shlokas have to come out so the first shloka which i have taken is about the mind which is the root cause for all sorrows so this i will just read it explain it and then give you the context as well So the first sloka is all about mind. Why am I here? Pari to sta valkalai swam dukulai hi samayeva pari to osho nirvishesho visheshaha satu bhavatu daridro yasya trishna vishala manasi cha pari to ste ko arthavan ko daridra. So the punchline of this sloka is manasi cha pari to ste. If one is satisfied in the mind. Who is rich? Kah arthavan, kah daridra. So this is very famous from the Bhartrahari's Vairagya Shatakam. If all of us know, Bhartrahari was supposed to be the elder brother of Vikramaditya, and what happened was he was ruling the kingdom. One fine morning, he handed over his entire kingdom to his younger brother Vikramaditya, and he became a sannyasi. That is how. the history or the life history of bhartrahari is so if you take the bhartrahari's shataka trayam that itself is a phd subject so he has written 100 shlokas on niti shatakam 100 on vairagya shatakam and 100 on shringara shatakam so this is yeah. how this has happened so if you look at the context of this shloka is that bhartrahari was moving around with a loin cloth or a scantily dressed and here was king vikramaditya who had all jewels he had all uh, silk or uh, dresses etc and there is a dialogue between vikramaditya who is well dressed and bhartrahari who is ill dressed so vikramaditya asks a question how are, are you happy what is it etc to which in this dialogue bhartrahari gives his example vayam ih paridushta vayam means we so it is bahuvachanam vayam ih paridushta valkalaihi tvam dukulaihi dukulam is a silk cloth and valkalam as you know is an bark it is actually a bark garment which is worn normally so valkalaihi so bhartra is telling i am happy paridushta valkalaihi i am very happy with a piece of bark which is on my body dukvam dukulaihi you are satisfied or you are happy with the dukulam is silk cloth sama eva paritoshah nirvishesho visheshah the happiness which you get in the silk cloth and the happiness which i get on this bark one is exactly similar so there is no difference between the happiness of mine and happiness of yours what is the reason that he goes to say that satu bhavatu bhavatu daridrah yasya trishna vishala all of us know what is trishna avarice or greed so he who in mind has got greed greed and greed for him he is the real daridra or a man in poor poverty manasi cha paritu stay if you are happy in your mind who is a rich person or who is a poor person sa kah arthavan kah daridrah 
So that is a very nice sloka to begin with Subhashitam. This Subhashitam is worth by hearting. This is the 53rd Subhashitam from the Vairagya Shatakam. So this is one flavor as far as mind is concerned. So if you go to William Shakespeare. Uh, yes. Sir, I yes. interrupt you. Okay. While you were uh, explaining this uh, shlok, uh -huh. it reminded me of, uh, I think Kabir ne likha ki, uh -huh. Chah gai chinta miti manua uh -huh. be parva. Chah uh -huh. gai chinta miti manua be parva. Jinko kachu na chahiye, wo shahan ke shah. So uh, uh -huh. the, it uh -huh. has the same flavor as this shlok. And I'm sure this must have been inspired by this because... Uh, Hindi also came from Sanskrit. Okay. So, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. So again, if you look at William Shakespeare, also is telling the same thing. So all things are ready if our mind be so. So even if you go to our Bhagavatam, there are a lot of uh, slokas where mana eva karanam manushyanam bandha moksha yo hmm. etc. So that is one. The next one is very interesting, as we all say, effect of uh, satsangam or good company. So grandfathers, our grandfather, grandparents always used to stress upon be in good company, be in good company, be in good company. So what is the uh, good, what is the benefit of being in a good company is brought out by this nice sloka, which says, Nichasrayo na kartavya, kartavyo mahadasraya, ishasrayo mahanaga, papracha garudam sukham. So always take refuge. Nichasrayo na kartavya. Very simple. Don't take refuge in the lower. Always take refuge in Mahadasraya. Great people, good company. Because Ishasrayo Mahanagaha in the good company of Isha. So Mahanagaha in the company of Ishwara, that is on the neck of Shiva, he has got the veracity or the boldness to ask Papracha Garudam Sukham. All of us know that Garuda mm. is a normal prey or enemy uh. is uh, your snake. And the moment That's Garuda right. sees a snake, it goes and pounces upon it and takes it as his prey. But the same Mahanagaha, when he is residing on the uh, shoulder of uh, Shiva, he has the veracity to ask, how are you, Mr. Garuda? Papracha Garudam Sukham. <laughs> Sukham Astiva. How are you, Garuda? So that is the power of good company. Do you want to add anything here, Nandini? Uh, yeah, because, I mean, as you are saying, so many things are coming to my mind. Um, so I was reading about it. So, you know, how we uh, so see that in Persia, the influence of Sanskrit was there. Mm -hmm. So there's this uh, Persian story. It's a fable that uh, a uh, lump of uh, clay and uh, somebody asked me, uh, how are you so fragrant? You know, you're just a mittika this thing and how are you so fragrant? So it says that I was just a lump of clay. I was just a lump of clay till someone set me down beside a rose. It's my companion scent that has seeped into me. So the thought is the same, the words uh, are different. But the thought is the same. Ki, uh, mitti ka dhela bhi itna sugandit ho gaya hai, gulab ke phulo jaisa, because it's in uh, the company of roses. Okay, good. So, great thoughts. Hmm. So, the next one is a very interesting as uh, Nandini had given the background of these three princes who were to be taught. And as you know, teaching is also, as I always say, teaching in a, is an art. It cannot be taught. It has to be caught. So, they went around looking for Guru, Guru, Guru. And finally, it was Vishnu Sharma who could uh, make these uh, three princes to sit and understand. That is a great work of Panchatantram. And this uh, sloka is again from the Panchatantram, which is about the three princes. What were their qualities? So, Yavvanam Dhanasampattihi Prabhutvam Avvivekita Ekaikam Api Anarthaya Kimu Yatra Chatushtayam so, Yavvanam, so if, there are, if you have any one of these four qualities, it itself is going to have nuisance value. So, what to speak if you have got all these four qualities? So, this princess had all these four qualities. So, what are these four qualities? As we see, Yavvanam is youth, Dhanasampattihi, you have got enough money, Prabhutvam, you have got the power, 
and avivekita indiscrimination the right to know what is right and wrong ekaikam api anarthaya so even if you have one of these four it can cause lot of nuisance so what to talk if a person has got all these four qualities it is going to be utter disaster that is what the mm -hmm. panchatantra and the hitopadesha says mm -hmm. okay. okay now we go to the uh, yes. sorry i i will just interrupt for a moment and tell okay. our audience that if uh -huh. they have any questions to uh, to please put them forth and uh, i can read it out to you and ask you the questions okay thank okay. you audience okay. yes please sorry okay. fine fine okay now comes the next one it is another great work called viduru niti which is part of the mahabharata so this uh -huh. is talking about sabha vridha dharma and satya so na sabha yatra na santi vridha so wherever you have got a good uh, sabha or a decision making process or a governance process you should always have people vridha vridha here does not can also mean old people it also means experience so for any decision making in any assembly or in a decision making you have to have vridha na te vridha ye na vadanti dharma dharmam even though they are very experienced they need to tell what is dharma na asau dharma yatra na satyam asti so this dharma alone is not enough they should speak that satyam which is filled with dharma and na tat satyam yat chalena abhyupetam and that should be straight forward it should not be something hidden so this is from a governance purpose what vidranithi is telling any sabha should have the right mix of people who have got the right experience and who can speak very freely and openly and showing the right perspective if you look at the corporate world in modern days because of mm. the fear of the bosses what happens people are not questioning whether it is right or wrong so dharma is a big subject maybe in some other inner courtyard session we can take the different aspects of dharma so this is to emphasize the value of experience you have youngsters becoming ceos at the age of 25 which i am totally against because they don't carry experience with them so vridhah in a sabha is very very important <laughs> so with hmm. this we finish a few thoughts on subhashitam now we are going to talk about vyangyam so nandini will just uh, give you the background and the theme of this vyangyam yeah i will um uh, shinoy sir ek uh, general perspective aisa hai ki um, sanskrit uh, bahut hi gambhir vishay hai we think of it as something very you know somber very serious but um, as i was reading about it for this uh, program when i was doing a little bit of research i realized that this was far from truth in fact uh, sanskrit literature like any other literature as all the navras jo hum navras bolte hain ki uske andar uh, prem bhi hai ghrina bhi hai um, shringar bhi hai sab kuch hai so similarly in uh, sanskrit literature has just about everything and of course it has uh, wit and humor and satire जिसे हम संस्कृत में व्यंग कहते हैं लैंग्वेज गेट्स रिचर विद विट सो वाई नॉट एंड आफ्टर ऑल विट लाइक आई थिंक वाई नॉट वाई नॉट श्योर सेट दैट विट इज द सॉल्ट ऑफ ऑल कॉन्वर्सेशन एंड आई एड टू इट दैट सटायर एंड रिच इज ऑल लिटरेचर सो शिनाय साहब हमको आप इंट्रोड्यूस करवाइए टू व्यंग इन संस्कृत लिटरेचर प्लीज ओके okay so the first type of vyanga is as i always say there is something called kuta shlokam means shloka with having double meaning there are lot of shlokas like this so a common man when he reads he will be perplexed with what is the thing which is going to be communicated so one simple example is this keshavam patitam drishtva drono harsham upagatah rudanti kaurava sarve ha ha keshava keshava so you may be thinking this is something new which is not there in the mahabharata so with little bit of sanskrit knowledge you will be able to understand keshavam patitam drishtva keshavam all of us know what is keshava so krishna hmm. is patitam drishtva so krishna has fallen and seeing krishna fallen dronah arsham upagatah drona become very happy rudanti kauravasarve kauravah means all the kauravas 
that the 101 uh, brother, uh, this uh, siblings of the Dhritarashtra, are all crying. So, and ha ha, Keshava, Keshava, oh ho, oh, oh, Keshava, ho oh, Keshava, telling like this, all the Kauravas were crying. So, when you read this sloka, you will get very perplexed to understand what is it that they are trying to convey. So, that is where the play of words and the play of languages is very important. So, when we read it, we have to read it in such a manner that we have to split it in the right place. So, I will re uh, uh, split it or give it a pause in a different manner. Okay. Ke shavam patitam drishtva. So, ke shavam. Instead of ke, I split it into two words. Ke shavam patitam drishtva dronaha harsham upagataha rudanti kaurava sarve ha ha ke shava ke shava so the word ke shavam if you read together and if you read ke with a pass and shavam it means two huh. things so shavam as all of us know is a corpse so ke come means water so ke shavam patitam drishtva so if you read the, look at this picture so there is a corpse hmm. which is lying in the water Dronaha Harsham Upagataha. There is another synonym of Dronaha means Kakaha or Vayasaha. So you see here the crow. Nee, is I can sitting. get it. Could you repeat, please? Okay. Dronaha, Dronaha? means Haan. Kakaha or crow. Okay, crow. Okay. Crow. So Dronaha Haan. means crow. Shavam okay. means cops. K means in water. So K Shavam Patitam. Seeing a corpse fallen inside the water, the crow was happy. That is what is depicted in this picture. And who is this Kauravas who are crying? The Kauravas is again referring to Jakal, which makes a very peculiar sound. So Jakal uh -huh. also has food as the corpse. Unfortunately, because the corpse went and fell inside the water, Jekal could not enter the water. Hmm. He was only standing on the river side and then telling, oh my God, K Shavam, look at that uh, Shava inside this. So it is a lost opportunity for the Kauravas, which stands for Jekal. That is how the entire uh, meaning changes. There are so many slokas. This is only one Kuta sloka. Kuta sloka is its uh -huh. subject in this one. Okay. So does Kuta mean anything? Just Kuta mean anything? Code, code. Kuta in English, if you translate, it is a code. Okay. Okay, or okay. a hidden, okay. hidden verse. It is a hidden verse. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Shinohi sir, uh -huh. when, uh, when I was a uh, young, when I was much younger, when I was a kid, uh -huh. so the friends would come over to play with us and... Um, um, you know, like when the phone calls would start coming from their mothers uh, to send them back, my mother would say, Roko mat jane do. And yeah. I would say, Roko mat jane do. So, you know, this was right, a yeah. comma, the way you put the comma, I suppose. So, right. it's uh, like that. Yeah. Uh, one more thing, uh, Shinoi sir. Uh -huh. uh, Shaloni Uttam has asked that, uh, aapne jo pehle jo bataya tha shlo, uh -huh. that uh, wo, Yawan, Dhan, uh, you know, those four things, yes. they are a disaster to have. So uh -huh. uh, the question is, why having these four uh, qualities uh, a disaster? Okay, okay. I suppose it's because of the pride it, uh, it comes with? No, no, they take wrong decisions. Rush of blood. Yavvanam is nothing uh -huh. but rush of blood. You don't okay. see an old man driving a car rashly. You will only see a young man driving car rashly. Okay. That is Yavvanam. Uh -huh. Dana Sampati, uh -huh. when you have got enough money, you can influence decisions, you can buy anything, you can lead uh -huh. into a lot of nuisance. Yavvanam Dana Sampati Prabhutvam. I have the power. Power, yes. At the moment I have got power, I have got ego. And you know, power uh -huh. corrupts, absolute power corrupts absolutely. Absolutely. Yavvanam, yes. yavvanam Dana Sampati Prabhutvam Avivekita. If you don't have Vivekita, hmm. you take all foolish decisions. Yes. And if you take a foolish decision, the entire organization gets uh, upset. You saw that one fellow came into Zoom, one CEO from US came in and said in Zoom talk, I'm hiring, I am firing so many people. And he fired some 90 or 900 people or something in one Zoom call. 
Okay. Is, it, is it not a question of abhivekita which can cause disaster to yeah. the entire organization? Yes, yes, so, true. So, uh, so when you are, I leader, hope that answers the question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So as a leader, you should have a balanced approach, and these four can cause disaster in your taking a good decision. That is how I will look at it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Understood. Hmm. Shall we proceed? Yes. yes. Okay. Now this is uh, another interesting uh, aspect of uh, your this one. So when you talk about Vyanga, it also criticizes not only this, it also criticizes about money, money and money. This is a nice Subhashitam on mm. people talking about money. So if you look at the Subhashitam, it goes like this. Dundubistu sutanam ache, sutaram achetanam tanmukhadapi dhanam dhanam ittameva ninadaha pravartate kim punaha janaihi sachetanaihi. So what this uh, Subhashita says is that you know what is a dundubi or a beri or a drum. So if any of you go and try yeah. to beat the drum, when, when you put the hand and beat the drum, the drum also makes a noise. Dhanam, 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 dhanam. Okay. Means money. Okay. So even when you are hitting a drum, which is not a, it is an in, inanimate object. It is not even an animate object. When you hit an huh. inanimate, inanimate object like Dundubi, it also talks about dhanam, dhanam, dhanam. <laughs> then what okay. to talk about people who talk about money? So huh. both, both <laughs> okay. inanimate and animate for everything, money is the most important thing. Dhanam, 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 ittameva ninadaha pravartate, kim punaha janaihi sachetanaihi. Then what to talk about this? Again, I am reminded of Bhartra Hari. He tells, Sarve gunaha kanchanam asrayante. Every, mm -hmm. all the qualities are linked to money. Sarve gunaha kanchanam asrayante. So this is mm -hmm. how the power of money has been explained in a very nice and a funny way. In more our, so uh, in our times. Yes, yes more so yes. in our times. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. Good. So now we go to the next one. This is also an, another interesting Vyangyam. It is again regarding the father-in-law's house. So this is also very nice uh, Vyangyam. Asare khalu samsare saram swasura mandiram haro himalaye shete harishete mahodadav. In this entire world which has no value, there is only one place which has got value is swasura mandiram. <laughs> Why? Because Haraha is living in his father-in-law's place, which is Himalaya, and Hari is also uh, residing in his father-in-law's place, uh, father place, which is the Mahodadi or Vaikunta. So the most important place in all this immaterial world, the most important <laughs> place is father-in-law's house. Where you are sure to get respect. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, mm. That is a nice yes. one. Okay. Mm. <laughs> yes. Very interesting. Okay. <laughs> Fine. So mm. now we come to the another aspect of uh, Chitra Kavyam. So Nandini mm. will speak a few words on this Chitra Kavyam. Uh, yes. From uh, what I understood with our discussion the other day is that uh, Chitra Kavyam literally means uh, visual poetry. Uh, to generate a sense of wonder with words set in a pattern. So how rich, um, uh, richer the language is, the more uh, a chitra kavika uh, prakat kar sakte ho, aap, you know, a visual can be created. And in today's uh, digital world, uh, this concept is easy to understand because uh, the basis of uh, digital world today is visualization. So think about it, that this concept of visualization of our modern world was there in Sanskrit so many thousands of years ago. Wonderful, wonderful. I mean, like, um, it's uh, really, I mean, like, you know, it, it's inspiring uh, thought that uh, we must uh, learn Sanskrit. Okay. So there are various uh, types of Chitra Kavya. Maybe Inner Courtyard should have a series on this uh, revealing <laughs> Sanskrit gems. Okay, yes, that so is what uh, uh, when I was reading about uh, and uh, what we, the discussion we had, I was wondering that how in one hour it's going to be just a bird's eye view uh, that we get of Sanskrit language. Correct. Yes. Okay, fine. Yeah. So in this uh, Chitra Kavyam, there are a lot of categories. Akara Chitram, Gati Chitram, Varna Chitram, Artha Chitram. We don't have time in, 
to discuss all of them i will take some out some interesting gems so the one of the most important uh, chitra kavyam is uh, you are called padma bandham okay so this is come from your devi shatakam it is one case of akara chitram okay so what is this akara chitram means various shapes so you have got pushma bandham you have got naga bandham you have got mala bandham we will show you all this okay now ah. so in this let us take one shloka which is written at the bottom yasvita pavanataya yatana chidaniya yachaniya diya mayaya maya samstuta sriya so that is how the entire shlokam of devi shatakam for a common man when he reads it he may look it as a normal shloka but when you look at it uh, uh, you can look at it in a different perspective so i am just animating this just look at the flow a bit uh, concentration is required to understand this so uh, look at this how it works ya srita pavana taya ya tana it goes in the reverse order yatana chida nichaya yachaniya it comes down like this then it goes here याधिया माया या अगेन मा या सम स्तुता श्री या सो व्हेन यू ड्रॉ इट लाइक दिस द वे द वर्ड्स एंड थिंग्स आर मूविंग इट लुक्स लाइक पद्म बंध इट इज एन एग्जांपल ऑफ अ लोटस लीफ पेटल रादर पद्म बंध इट इज कॉल्ड अ लोटस दिस वन so same different say the word ya has to be repeated in a specific pattern and the same word yatana pavanataya yatana it on the reverse order and front order to create a marvel like this you should think of the kavi or his uh, visualization of the words and the play of words absolutely so that, is, that is very very interesting This so it's been done in a lotus uh, because uh, it is uh, devi yeah. ko arpan kiya hai isliye yes, so yes it is yes. an offering to the devi actually. yes okay. yes in the form of a padma bandha now okay. we will come into what is called as uh, mala bandha this is much more interesting so just look at uh, this uh, words which is coming here i'll just one i'll just start once again okay so one de हम दे व दे वम सो एवरी ऑल्टरनेट वर्ड इन द सेंटर रिपीट्स सू र स र व र दम वे क टा कल प क पम आ वा सम Va sa va di, tri da sha da ra da ham, sri ka ram ka bu ka tam, da sa chiam sa ra sa siam. पारतरशरनम गौरचिप्रम्यम किं कम जाक्ष जाम जा भूपतिम पक्षी पत्रम सो दिस इज व्हाट इज कॉल्ड एज ए माला बंधम वेर एवरी सेकेंड वर्ड कीप्स रिपीटिंग एंड द सेंटर वन एज यू हैव सीन गिव्स यू एंड देन दिस कम्स एज ए एंटायर गार्लेंड सो दिस इज अनदर एग्जांपल ऑफ आकार चित्रम hope this is very so very so meaning the center the center letter remains uh, the same yes and how does one read it then so vande ham so i have to come ah. from here see i'll show you so ah. i have to come from just a second okay so vande ham 
Dewa Dewam. Oke, dan Su Sura Sarawaradam. Venkata Kalpa Kalpam. Awasam Wasa Wadi. Tri Dasha Dara Daham. Like this. So every word, the center, which is in round, uh, that word uh, is repeating every alternate. Hmm, that is it. how this is the very interesting. Yes. yes. Then we have got an Agabandam. You have got a lot of Akara Chitrams in uh, this one. That is a very interesting okay. aspect. Now, the next interesting aspect which we can see is your, this is a very, very interesting uh, aspect. Is uh, your Raghava Yadaviyam. This is much, much tougher here. So if you uh -huh. look at it, if you read this uh, entire, I think around 32 or 40 slokas are there. If you read uh -huh. it in uh, front to back, it gives the story of Ramayana. When you read it from uh, the same sloka reverse, it is the story of Krishna. That is why it is called as Raghava Yadaviyam. So I will hmm. first read it in the right order. Vandeham, Devadevam, Tam Sritam, Rantaram, Kalabhasayah, Ramo, Ramadirapyagya, Go, Leela, Mara, Ayodhya, Ayodhya Vase is, if you look at it, it is not, uh, yeah, give you a free translation, it is Ramayana. I pray obeisance to Lord Sri Rama, who with his heart pining for Sita, travelled across the Sayadri hills and returned to Ayodhya after killing Ravana and spotted with his concert Sita in Ayodhya for a long time. Now the same thing, now look at this, uh, if I read it from backwards, sorry. Okay, so if you look at, uh, okay. So, so this is like a palindrome? No, palindrome will have the same front and back. Okay. Front and back, the meaning would be the same, but no, here- No, 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 the words, no, no, if you see palindrome is like Malayalam. If you have the uh -huh. same thing in the reverse order also, the spelling will be the same. This no, we are also, we are just Vande Aham Devam. No, no, and, I'll just explain one minute, Nandini. Uh -huh. See here, so I am okay. doing it reverse. Se uh -huh. Seva Dye. If I am doing reverse, it is not coming one day. One day, right. if I am taking it as a palindrome, it will be the reverse. In reverse also, it should come okay, in the same okay. manner. But this is brilliant. Yes. Oh, see this. Seva Dyeyo Rama Lali. So here, if you look at it, Seva Dyeyo Rama Lali. If I take this again in the reverse order, Gopya Radhi Mara. Gopya Radhi Mara Mora. Gopyadi Mara Mora. Then, Yaha Sabhalankaram Taram. Then, Tam Sritam Vandeham Deva Devam. So, the same thing I have written in the next this slide. This is the reverse order. And when I write it in the reverse order, it means about Krishna. Seva Dheyo Ramalali. Gopyaradi Mara Mora, Yesabhalankarantaram, Tam Sritam Vandeham Devam. So now I go down to Lord Krishna, whose chest is sporting resort of Sri Lakshmi, who is fit to be contemplated without through penance and sacrifice, etc. So same wow. sloka, when you put in the reverse order, it becomes Krishna's. So this also is this very, is very brilliant. Hmm. I wonder, like, I mean, if uh, in any other language, uh, such, uh, I mean, like, such a thing is there because, you, to, you know, the entire um, uh, context and the meaning has changed. This is really brilliant. Yes. So, this is what is... This <laughs> uh, is mm -hmm. There is one, uh, there is one uh, question uh, from uh, Rukshad. And uh, okay, thank you. Very interesting. I recall some of Bhasha's plays uh, that were very interesting. Are there translations in English? along with Sanskrit of his works available? Yes, there's a lot of books. I can refer you later after this. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Fine. So this is Raghava Yadaviyam. Now we, come, now we come to, this is, this is also much, much, uh, I think this is from uh, Bharavi. This is called Sarvato Badraha. This is what we study. Now I am bringing Sanskrit into mathematics. 
So okay. this is called Sarvato Badraha. So if you look at the linear programming, plan in your mathematics, there is something called matrix. There is something called uh, symmetric matrix, etc. So similar thing here. This is a great work. So if you look at this uh, sloka, Devakani ni kava de bahika swaswaka hiva kakar kakare babare babare kaka. Niswa Bhavya Vyabaswini. So if I write that down in this order, Deva Kani Kava, they simple. I write it as one, two, three, four. I write this and finish it off. Then I make what is called as a mirror image. What is meant by mirror image? So I will start okay. on the reverse order. Niswa Bhavya Vyabaswini, which is the last one. Then comes Kakareba Bhare Kaka. So I am going and putting it as a mirror image. There's four slokas in the reverse order. For fourth Pada will become first Pada. Third Pada will become second Pada. And uh, the first Pada will become fourth Pada. Once okay. you put it, now you look at the four corners which I am showing. So for example, see, look at this. Devakani Nikavahe. This also same thing on the top. Oh, the, yes, yes, yes. I see, get it now. Sorry. Ah. Now, if you look at Devakani Nihava De, if you look at ah. here, Deva, similarly here, Devakani Nikava De, similarly yes. at the bottom, Devakani Nikava De. Okay, hmm. this is what is called in mathematics as a symmetric matrix. I am basically a physics graduate. And now learning Sanskrit, so I can understand what is called as a symmetric matrix. So from okay. all four sides, it comes. Then comes the next sentence. Look at this red ones, which I have written. Kakareva bhare kaka. On all phase, it comes. Kakareva bhare kaka. From the, this side, from this side also, it comes. Kakareva bhare kaka. Here also, hmm. it comes. Kakareva bhare kaka. And Kakaraba Bare Kaka. So from all four. So that is why beautiful Sarvato Badraha. Sarvataha means mm. from all sides. Yes. It is beautiful from all sides. Same way, Niswaba Vivaya Sayini. You will get all four. It is a beautiful play of words. But well, trying to beautiful. understand the meeting is, meaning is difficult. That is in this one say, hour session. Uh, decoding it and giving a translation into English is. Not that easy. So these slides are available. I think it is getting recorded. Maybe you can spend some time and understand the meaning of also this one. Okay, mm. this is from Bharavi, if I'm not missing, if I'm not uh, wrong. Okay, so this is Sarvato Badraha. Then another type of Artha Chitram is called Prahelika. So Prahelika is riddles. All of us know about riddles. So yes. Artha Chitram is also, riddles are also categorized in Chitra Kavyam as Artha Chitram. So you have got uh, one, one nice uh, uh, Artha Chitram here, which is a Prahelika. So this is about uh, Viratanagare Ramye Kichakat Upakichakam Atra Kriya Padam Bhaktuhu Haimam Dasyami Kamkanam. So this, please don't confuse this uh, Kuta Slokam from Prahelika. Prahelika okay. is type of a riddle. Ah, okay, Kuta Slokam yes. is two it's meanings. Gangue. Yes. Ah, There's yes. a lot of difference between the two. So in this yes. case, if you read, so this is given to a person telling Virata Nagare Ramye in the Virata Nagara. You know, all of us know Virata Nagara, Virata Parv is there in Mahabharata. So hmm. Kichakad Upkape Chakam from one Kichaka to another Kichaka, a person goes. And in this sloka, Virata Nagare Rami Kichakad Upakichakam, please tell me which is the Kriya Padam or the verb. If you tell me the verb, Haimam Dasyami Kankanam, I will hmm. give you a bangle which is made of gold, is the riddle. Hmm. So if I look at this, uh, how do I look at it? So again, the, the way we split Keshavam, here also we have to split. Vihi Ata Nagare Ramye. So here is Vihi is a bird. Vihangama is also another word for this one. Okay. So Vihi Ata Nagare 
Ramye kichakat upakichakam. So we uh, a bird started flying from one bamboo shoot to the another bamboo in the Nagare, in the hmm. city or town. So Ata is the Kriya Padam. Ata means jump. Pariyatanam, you would all heard. Ata is roaming, wandering, etc. And Kriya then, Padam in English would be? In English is the verb. The verb. verb. Oh. Identify the verb in the sloka. Pirata Nagare Ramye Kichakad Upa Kichakam is the phrase. Ah. In this ah. phrase, identify the Kriya Padam. The answer is art. Ata. Okay. Okay. Ata is the Kriya Padam. Now the comes the ah. beauty. So this person gave the answer, but that person was not given a bangle. Why was he not given a bangle? Because Haimam <laughs> Dasyami Kam Kanam. Kam means water, <laughs> just like we saw. So if you answer this question, I will ah. give you a fresh water drop. <laughs> <laughs> which evaluated from the eyes. Haimam here means which has come from Himat. Himat Jatam Haimam. So when the answer art was given, the poor guy was not given a silver a golden bangle. He was given yes. a drop of water. So ah. there is a book, beautiful book called Goja Prabandham where you will get okay. a lot of Prahelikas. Achha. Okay. okay. Hmm. So this is how what I wanted to discuss in the last in the this one hour schedule now 10 minutes for question answers yes nandini mm -hmm. over to you ah uh, i'll just see if there are any questions from the audience uh -huh. uh, 